The snow has like tripled since the last time we were here. Tangled. Well, once we got into these canyons where the snow's a lot softer, it's actually pretty good. We we headed up a canyon right at the start, and it was okay on the left side. The right side, where the sun had been beating on it for the last couple of days, was rock hard, and I ended up rolling my snowmobile right on top of myself, and my leg is quite sore right now. But took some pills. We'll be all right. <laughs> Done and very painful on the same leg. Handlebar just landed on my knee. <sighs> yeah, that was not a smooth one at all. Let myself get under the sled. Ouch. I'm all over the place today. Ow, that hurts. <sighs> oh, that Tylenol needs to kick in. Something fierce. Ow, ow, ow. Lots of bruises today, but oh well. <laughs>
trench. Yeah, if I think if I get over here, get a higher line, I can get up that. So let's see. The top was right there. You're sweating a little bit there, Brett. It's warm. I, mean, the one I didn't realize how close we were to the top. I just got to it, turned right around. Here. Yeah. Wow, this sun's just making that red hair shine, Austin. Yeah, I was gonna say, I could get what about this bald head? Oh, yeah. Your solar panel's getting all charged up. Should take a picture. Yeah, that's pretty view right there. How to get unstuck when you're freaking tough, isn't it? Here it is. Hey, you're out now. Okay, Casey, I'm ready for you. It sounded like your clutch slipped or something. It pulled my feet under me.
the ski so dug in. I can't get the ski to turn back. There it is. No. All right, I guess I'll roll it once. Maybe. Maybe roll it once. There we go. Now I'm good. Go for it, boys. Here comes Casey. All right, Austin, your turn. Casey, that was sick. I'm trying, I'm poaching track. Yeah, but still, that was sick. All right, here comes Austin. Yeah, it's right below me is extremely steep. <laughs> you gonna go again or are we done here? For power. I'm done. Oh, I think I there's an open there. face right here, just a short one. Be real good for him and his whoop de doos. All right, let's go do that. So let's talk about a new product I've been using. This, the armadillo bag, two gallons of gas in here. It fits perfectly inside your tunnel bag if you have the brand edition large bag, you can just strap it right on top. These boosts take so much fuel, you get in here 10 miles and you can already fit two gallons in. That's probably my biggest complaint with the boost is fuel consumption. So. The bag comes with its own nozzle here. It's filtered. And to not make a mess, you throw it up here, get all the water off of there. But you hang it on your handlebars, open it up. I got fuel right, probably higher than you're supposed to, to be honest. But you thread that on there. And then you can fill up. And on Monday, I used this. Snow was way deeper. And I did, I think, 48 miles and still had 20% left. And usually I run out in like 35 miles. So once you get that in there, the best part about this bag is once it's empty, you can fold it up and it doesn't take any room in your tunnel bag. Or the Skidoo cans are nice, but you have to have a dedicated mounting spot for them. With the tunnel bag I already have, there's no room for it. But how easy is this? A lot of adventure bikers are kind of their main customers from what I can see on the website, but I think the more 
people that are riding players boosts find out about these are going to be using them the fact that you don't have to mod your tunnel bag at all if you have this same one so you go two gallons completely emptied in didn't even spill a drop which is pretty rare Hey, this drainage that's below me, nobody's touched it. Yeah, with all the tracks in here, I thought for sure it's gonna be all tracked up from the last couple days. Uh-oh, Brett might have just got buried. The old tree well got you. Yep. That goes down a long ways. Where are you guys going? Right where Brett was side hill and he just got stuck in a tree well. I'm just gonna help him get out and then we'll come down there with you. All right, need help? No, I think it'll be a quick ski pole. Think it'll bump? Yeah. <laughs> good yeah it'll bump how has nobody been in here this is crazy
our plan? Are we? I, the plan is I think I have a bruise on my uh, upward thigh. I mean, should we go up and over to the other one and have lunch? Yeah, let's find us a, a flat spot because I got to do some track adjustment. I think we'll have lunch just right here, Brett. Yeah, I'm gonna go start working on my track. Your ski's going straight up and then you stop. Well, that's harder than the back of your head. <laughs> I was gonna say, might as well bring it back your way kind of how it wants to go. All right, one, two. That's good enough. Yeah, if you run the throttle, it'll go. <laughs> what happened? My freaking arm, I hit that. It just like jammed my elbow.
film one for me? Right in that shot. Last time we were here and you hit the tree right there, this was almost impossible to climb, but it fills in with snow and yeah. way easier. It is crazy how different it looks. Like That's crazy though, that whole hill slide slid there. That's nuts how straight of a cut it was. I'm curious down here where it stopped. Where it piled up at? Yeah. <laughs> this line up through the trees.
that climb I just did about at a 45 here and up that was Dude, there's one. another one right in here that was fun yeah, I think we need to talking about it, yeah it I want to go good. down the next over and then up it and see how far we can get Climbed this is my this. favorite spot and it's Everywhere. almost worth it to like just bang up the freaking creek to get to here yeah. and then because start truly the snow is better than it's so crazy. much better Yeah, I, I haven't moved much. It's barely over half for break-in still. Ride normally, very throttle position. I vary it from here to here to here. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> well, I got too much fuel, so I'm gonna keep burning it.
white sulfide. Down to 40 percent it says well let's give you a little update and review on the sled 2023 chaos boost 163 3 inch i now have a uh, 125 miles on it still in braking mode i'm at nine hours and looks like i'm about three quarters of the way through but i'm loving the sled it's extremely playful which is what i was hoping for not quite what the 155 was but it'll still completely jump out of the snow but you can actually climb stuff. It doesn't just sit in wheelie and then like porpoise and you can't get any track speed to go up the hill. Like it'll, it'll just climb whatever you want to climb. So I feel like it's the perfect happy medium. It's, it's playful, but it'll still get business done, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And it's running super good, so. <laughs> That was stupid. No pop on that one. Oh, that was stupid. Loving the sled, but I can't ride it. Was awesome. Yeah. This place is too much fun. Yeah. 